Hey guys, this is the second part of the instancing and uh, mesh socket video because there were some interesting uh, things happening. So this video will be specific about the instancing part. And um, uh, just to recap, what we have here is a cube. In the middle, it's a bit hard to see. Let me reduce the number of instances of our chair. There's a cube. On this cube, we created some points. And to these points, we um, assign instances and uh, these instances can be pre-assigned from Houdini and or here is the instance path to the uh, chair and here we can uh, define how many we want for example five or something uh, but I noticed something after I recorded the other video if I for example go to zero again right and I type in a higher number than 16 for example 17 nothing happens so this is a little bit weird if I use 16, that's fine. I got 16 chairs. I can also put five or 10, but as soon, uh, let's go five to five again. As soon as I use higher numbers than, than 16, 50, for example, nothing happens. It's just not updated. And I don't have an explanation for that, but I have some observations. And also later I would like to talk about um, another method how to uh, you get these instances running so uh, let's look at Houdini so this was our setup we have a box we scatter um, points uh, on the surface of this box we create our detail attribute um, where is it uh, yeah here we create the unreal instance attribute and assign our actor we want to um, spawn as default on these instances then we merge uh, our box geometry to uh, and these points together and then we write that out in the geometry spreadsheet looks like that uh, some of the points get our instance attribute only those from the scattering and those points down here are from uh, the box which is merged and yeah, we did not assign any um, attributes to the box so first, um, first interesting thing is when we don't make the merge so that we only export our point cloud. Let's set this to visible again. Save. Uh, yeah. And we recook the asset. Suddenly it works. So it's not the number of points or something but the, the box itself seems to be a problem but only if the box has not uh, enough polygons when I um, activate the merge node again and add a sub subdivide node and let me remove this so and I reconnect these um, uh, connections so now we have we have just the same box but uh, it uses some more points or some more surfaces and now we say oh, we save this node and go to unreal again and we cook it should still work uh, yeah okay the shape changed a little bit because our box shape changed but now it's not a problem I can type higher numbers than uh, than before and it will still work so for some reason the number of faces or points of this little box seem to be a problem and now we are over the threshold and um, yeah I don't know we can can use it and it gets even more interesting if I use a grid instead of a box let's um, remove the subdivide and uh, use the grid with an, uh, just one polygon just you can see here the grid itself has just four points now and is used as base geometry in that case let's recook it um, I don't know why why these uh, cubes are still there let's set this to zero and then to two okay now it's reset I don't know why the uh, chairs were still there what you see now is that these chairs are created on the points of this grid but we did not we did not assign any any chairs to these points we created some points on this grid 
and only to them we assign this attribute because the points from the grid itself um, are merged later and don't have these you click here uh, this attribute assigned but still for some reason houdini engine assigns these chairs to the to the points uh, to, to, to the corner points of the grid and not to the scattered points and here we have the same phenomenon if i uh, point or set this total count to four it still works even though uh, they are wrongly assigned they use the wrong points but i can't go uh, above four when i try six for example nothing happens when i try five nothing happens but when i try four uh, it works again kind of even though it uses the wrong points if i um, use a higher number of uh, subdivisions for the grid let's say three by three and save and recook is it now uh, the scattered points are used but i'm still uh, bound by a certain limit if i try 16 for example and nothing happens right so let's find out what our maximum is can we use five okay five works six six works seven works eight works nine nine does not work 10 hello i'm sorry annual engine just crashed but here we are again and it gets even more interesting now i, I was pretty sure that before uh, the scattering was working but now when i when i um, come from the 10 and where it was not working and now i change it to nine then suddenly all nine chairs are assigned to the points of the grid let's look at the grid again these these are the points here here uh, of our grid while in unreal um, yeah the, the chairs are assigned if i go to eight um yeah the the, um, the chairs now stay on on the grid points when i set this to uh, zero and to eight again no this is still like that let's use seven okay and now they are using the scattered points so this is super weird and i have no explanation for this at all um the how we export the uh, uh, the attribute should be fine and no idea why it uh, is just weird with low numbers but here when we use higher numbers for for the grid intersections and we have a high number of relatively high number of um of points now it should be pretty much working uh, like with the subdivided cube this should not be a problem and now yeah uh, let's use nine again yeah now the scattered points are used and now we should go to 50. oh no actually here it does not work 50 is not 25 works i think for 50 I, I try to look at the relation of the points like uh, counting the points of the grid and maybe it's it's the amount of points but that's not it um i i can't say for sure what <laughs> what makes the the big difference but for some reason with lower numbers of points um uh, there's nothing you can do it seems so um let's just recook the whole thing and now go to uh, 50 this should work and now i am pretty sure no 150 doesn't work so i don't know hopefully the houdini guys can give us an explanation for that it seems to be not something which is uh, wanted okay and now let's uh, look at um, at the second option to to do this and uh, this will work even with low number of points so let's um, go back to our box again so we use back box as scattering and as merge and uh, we save this and um, we go to unreal again and now we cook and now um, okay the, the the chairs are old we see the box here we just have to update the number once and now we should see if I use 20, for example, nothing should work exactly because we are back to our problem scenario where only 16 was allowed. Um, so let's go back to uh, zero. And there's another thing what you can do. Uh, I have this prepared here. Let's just delete all these lines. Okay, there is something you can do and there is a copy to points 
you may have heard of this and in here you put in the points where stuff should be scattered to and i use my little uh, box from before it's just a little a little smaller box like smaller box and then you go into the copy points uh, sub and you will see that yeah um, the little box is copied to the points we created on the surface of the box uh, it's super important that you click this copy to point sub and click pack and instance this is important and now we can output this to unreal and uh, let's do a merge before with this box here and now our our points we created so to be to be fair so now we have the box and our little little uh, extra boxes right you see them here can make the uh, where's the wireframe the wireframe mode i'm blind uh, wasn't there a mode here okay now now we see it. the little boxes and we can save this now and go to unreal and recook and nothing happened because uh, it's set to zero but now we can set for example 20 and we see 20 little boxes created here and you may ask now okay but why do we want boxes because of the pack and instance parameter um, houdini engine created this houdini instance inputs and here we can assign for example the fire particle system okay or let's say we assign the chair like before and now we can use 50 or uh, 150 instances that's no problem so it works perfectly fine even with a low number of our input box uh, and we don't have the maximum of 16 um, uh, instances problem but we have another problem because as you saw the the pre-assignment did not work when we um, when we drag and dropped our asset in we saw our little boxes um, but no pre-assignment because we did not uh, assign anything problem is even if we do it will not work so here is our attribute create uh, node which assigns the chair as default and it worked with our points on these uh, yeah in, in this example where we scattered points on the box and then just created this attribute here the unreal instance attribute uh, and exported this directly after the merge and here with the copy to points of course we can tell it to assign this attribute to these points and actually you see the um, attribute is created and if we go to the merge then here are the points from uh, from from the box right so everything works like before uh, but we save and we go into the oops the engine and uh, we can even re-import the asset and then uh, drag and drop it in and you see nothing is assigned and i don't have a solution for that so um, we have several options here we have sockets and we have instances and we have this other method of instances and every of these options has disadvantages except uh, you use um, uh, an input geometry uh, with a higher number of points so um, yeah then i would say this option here where you just create the points assign the attribute and do the merge if you want uh, the original geometry uh, then yeah this is the way to go because here you can pre-assign something if you want this and uh, yeah if, if the box here has some polygons because of subdivide or you use a grid of higher number or whatever then this will work and if you don't need a merge if you don't need the original geometry you are fine anyway because then uh, you only need your little point cloud uh, like you, you can see here and you give this to unreal and then everything works perfectly fine pre-assignment but um yeah the <laughs> keeping the original geometry seems to be a problem if it's really low poly for some reason if there is something new to that if someone finds something out please check the comments and if i find something i will write it into the video description um, of this video so if you are curious then just check it out and maybe in 
some weeks, months or a year, I, I will have updated the description and then we all know more. Okay, thank you guys.